<laughs> okay, it's my turn to talk. So, um, as you probably heard earlier from the contestants, one of the most important parts of the Miss America organization is your platform, which is some sort of social impact initiative or thing that you advocate for during your year of service, whether or not you win a title or not. It's something that you focus on, that you want to advocate for in your community and to make a difference. Um, and I know that Alicia had a platform when she competed. Would you like to touch on what yours was? Sure, I'm glad I looked down and read that because I was like, ooh, that's a good question. Mine was live on purpose defining your legacy. So I actually still implement that in my daily life with what I do for a living, and that is I'm a realtor, real estate broker in Washington State, almost in Oregon too. Um, but really, yeah, I had to give myself a shameless plug. Mom, I can hear you laughing. I was doing so good. I was on the right track, and I just heard you jump my but my platform is really just instilling the importance of living every single day like it's your last and impacting people with a positive attitude and just positive vibes and really setting yourself up for success and how you want to be remembered at the end of the day. So that was my platform. And the judges clearly loved it. She did really well at Miss America. So. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, and my platform for my year as Miss America's Outstanding Teen is titled Your Voice Matters, Educating the Voters of Tomorrow. Um, and ultimately, its goal is to increase civic education and engagement among youth and young adults. I'm a senior in high school, and I realized that when I got to high school, nobody plans on voting, and no one even knows that we can vote for things other than the president, which was shocking to me. Um, and so my goal for this year is to really just get the word out about being engaged in our democracy. And even if I only get one more person to vote, I think by having those conversations with people, having those tough conversations about your voice actually does matter, whether you think it does or not, um, I think it really does make a huge impact in our communities. And so, another little shameless plug, during intermission, I will have a table out in the lobby. I have voter registration forms. Um, so if your address has changed, or if you're not registered to vote already, which you they should be, because your voice matters. Okay. Um, you can come up to me and I will help you register to vote. It's super duper simple. Washington makes it really easy. Um, and if you're already registered but you just want to have a conversation about voting, which is literally like I will nerd out with you, um, come talk to me. It'll be really fun. We'll have a good time. <laughs> I might have to come see my address change. So maybe I'll look Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Well, what a fantastic opportunity it was to get to meet and speak with you, Peyton and a great way for our teens to find out more how to get registered to vote.